Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Haas. I'm going to welcome you to my upcoming thyroid seminar uh, held right here in my office. Um, most of you have been diagnosed with a thyroid condition or a hypothyroid problem um, and you've been prescribed a medication. Maybe you're taking a Synthroid, you've been prescribed maybe level thyroxine or Nature Thyroid. Uh, some of you are even on, let's say, Armour. Folks, you're taking these medications and yet you are still suffering. And for a lot of you, you've been on these medications for months, maybe even years. The dosages have been moved up, they've been, been lowered or decreased, and yet you are still suffering with these, these hypothyroid type symptoms. And what I'm referring to is the number one is the weight gain. I hear this all the time is a lot of women have difficulty losing weight. You know, they've been on, off different uh, diets throughout the years. Um, they exercise, some of you even exercise three or four times a week, maybe 30 minutes to up to an hour uh, each day and still cannot lose the weight. Folks, this is a major problem. We address this in the seminar. We talk about why this could be happening with you in the seminar. Some of you, you know, you have cold hands and feet, uh, you have dry itchy skin, uh, insomnia. A lot of you cannot get through the night without getting a full night's sleep. You cannot sleep through the entire night without waking up at 2 or 3 in the morning uh, and wide awake, okay? Or maybe you have difficulty even getting asleep. Um, and then for others, it's the next day where you're chronically fatigued. You are so tired, feel so sluggish that it's, it's, it's so, and it's extremely difficult just to get through a normal day. And so we address why this could be happening to you, to you and what's happening to your system. For others, and mostly it's the women there, it's, it's the hair. The hair coming out in clumps or in chunks after you take a shower. And uh, most women saying that you're very concerned about that. Well, you should be concerned about that. So there's an underlying issue uh, that's driving that, that could be causing that, we talk about in the seminar. And, in the, and also in the seminar, you, we talk about a autoimmune uh, disease or autoimmune thyroid. It could be Hashimoto's thyroiditis you've been diagnosed with. Or maybe, maybe you have that, you don't even know it yet. And in this case, your own immune system is literally destroying or attacking your own thyroid gland and you may not even know it. E with even taking, let's say, the Synthroid or Armour. Folks, we go over the six primary causes of your condition, of a hypothyroid condition. There's usually something else going on, folks. Your thyroid gland is a victim uh, of something else happening or not working or functioning right in your system or in your body there. That's what we need to find out. And the lab tests that you've had done for your thyroid, I'm sorry, folks, TSH and T4, maybe T3 are not enough. It's not enough information to figure out what's going on with your thyroid. For some of you who've had the TSH and the T4 tested and they're within quote unquote normal levels, you've been told this that by your doctor that your labs are normal, yet you are still suffering. We talk about why this could be happening to you again in the seminar there. We have to get the other pieces to the puzzle. And the main thing you need to know, folks, is you cannot give up hope. I don't know if I can help you, but in this seminar, we talk about the underlying causes of your thyroid condition. You need to get educated, and this is the first step, is by attending this seminar. All you have to do is simply put in your name and your phone number, and my staff will call you back uh, as soon as we can to register you to RSVP you for my upcoming seminar. Um, I want to wish you uh, all the best. I hope to meet you. I hope to talk to you soon, and I hope I can help you. Have a good night.